Hi, welcome back to I've Had Worse, and today it's one of those videos that you know, I kind of wonder why I'm doing it. Well, I know why I'm doing it. Another beer reviewer tried it, said it was revolting, so yeah, challenge accepted. It's Dragon Soup. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's basically like Red Bull and vodka and then some in a tin. So it's a caffeinated alcoholic beverage. It's got contains schnapps, caffeine, taurine and guana. Yeah, for the princely sum of sort of 2.99 a tin. 8% by volume in a 500 ml can. So, I've always wondered why guys go out and they have, um, you know, vodka and Red Bull on a night out. The smell of Red Bull is enough just to turn my stomach. So, uh, yeah, I can't understand why. So, the taurine, well, that's in Red Bull. I know Ghana is the stuff that they put in um, sort of sports drinks. I remember one uh, season, all the Wimbledon tennis players had these little sachets where they were sort of sucking on it. And it, it's one of these, it's an extract from a plant that gives you sort of energy and, you know, wakes you up. Didn't they put uh, it in Boost chocolate bars? They did time? have a Boost chocolate bar, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I tried um, Rocket Fuel, which had a coffee. That did send me around the loop, uh, around the loop a bit, but that was a high caffeine coffee with guana. And that, it said, made me a bit loopy. So why the hell am I trying this? Because it's there. That's why I'm trying it. Okay, dragon soup. This is the... Has it got a flavour? This is... Oh, a dark fruit punch. Oh, man. Okay. They did have a couple of flavours. They had, I think, the strawberry and lime. That looks disgusting. Oh, oh man alive. Oh, I can smell it. Straight away, it's got that Red Bull hit to it. Okay. Dragon Soup is a fortified fermented schnapps drink. Well, there's the alcohol. Why don't they just use vodka? It's got... Okay. Anyway. Uh, containing high levels of caffeine. Um, blending with tourine, grana and delicious flavours resulting in a truly unique drinking experience. Stop Wait. stalling! Stop stalling! <laughs> it's truly unique. Okay, so look, you know, that looks really natural and fantastic. I'm sure it's organic. Smells like cherry aid. Let's go. Sugar, bang, big hit of sugar. No hint of alcohol, but it's got something about it. Reminds me of Benelin. Yeah, Benelin, that sort of cough mixture. can't lie to you, it's not foul, it's not unpleasant. This, if you're the type of person who likes vodka and Red Bull, this will appeal to you. Um, well, there you go. I'd say this is probably, it, it'll do what it says on the tin. And that sort of keep your weight and get you pissed. Um, uh, I said, yeah, it's not foul. You know, I'm not going to say I'm going to sink this. I might regret that because I'm a tight fisted Welshman. And if you open it, I'm going to drink it. But yeah, 
I'm too old to appreciate. If you're a young chap, if you're a young man, and you like your WKDs um, and your VKs and your Vulcan Rebel, you'll you'll like this. I, I'll, I'll say that you'll like that. Uh, Two ninety nine a tin. Um, I dare say this will be my one and only try. Um, but if I'm going to spend money. I'd rather get uh, an Orangi Boom, I'd rather get an OJ, um, a Kestrel Super Lager, um, the Skull, not the Skull, that was not a good one. But yeah, the Kestrel, the OJ, the Orangi Boom, if you want a, a heavy hitter in a tin, they are all far better than this. Um, or a large brandy and a really good espresso. There you go. N not in the same glass, but you know, that would, same effect. There you go. If you're at all um, curious, you're gonna have to hunt this one out because it took me a little while to find it. It's not, you know, available on every corner shop and that's possibly because it's revolting. No, it's because I, yeah, it's not readily available. There you go. Drink less and better, be good to yourselves.